everyone, it's Raven Jade here, and today's video is going to be all about making PED in Entropia Universe. Can you do it? Is it possible? Can you do it without depositing? I'm going to go over some ways that I know of that you can make PED in this game, Entropia. Um, I'm going to start off with the ways that you can make it without depositing a single cent and then go into the more advanced ways of making money in this game. Some people actually do make a very good living off of this game through their investments and through smart playing. Um, there's a lot of people that lose their shirts in this game as well, so um, your mileage may vary depending on how you approach this game. So the first thing that you can do to make money in this game, and it's extremely boring. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna tell you guys it's the most awesome thing ever because it's not. The first thing that you will do or can do is go sweating. That's the first thing people tell you to do when you first come, you know, are spawned in this game. You're like, help. I need money, I need gear, I need this, 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 and people say, go sweat. Go use your tool and go sweat. Yes, you can make money from sweating, however, it's basically slave labor. You might as well just go and, you know, work a minimum wage job for an hour and deposit that money in the game. You'll have more fun. But if sweating is your thing, then, of course, by all means. Um, when I first started this game way back in 2007, sweat was going for like six ped uh, a K for a thousand sweat. So basically in US dollars, that's 60 cents for a thousand bottles of sweat. These days, you're, you're going to be lucky to get two ped for a K of sweat. Uh, I see people buying at like 1.5, 1.6, 1.7. It's it's really bare minimum money, but you can you can do that. The next way, and it is also a little bit boring, and you can go walking for fruit and stones. Fruit is needed. It's highly needed to make nutrients nutrio bars for the pets in the game. It's one of the ingredients. You need to have something else to mix in with it. Uh, sweet stuff, which is mined. And you can make nutrio bars. But basically you find the fruit and you find like a thousand pieces of fruit and you can sell it to people. Think right now it's about 15 ped for a thousand pieces of fruit. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I don't buy and sell it very often so I'm not quite sure but that's definitely a little bit more head for your your effort stones um, I'm not quite sure how much you're getting per K for the stones it's it's more than the sweat I think and it's less than the fruit so what I do is you know if I'm out walking or you know shooting a mob and I see some fruit on the ground or a stone, I pick them up. Um, you'll know them when you see them, they'll pop up. You'll, you'll know that it's something that's not supposed to be there and, and you'll get it. The other way to make money in the game is to find a job. Yes, there are people and organizations in this game that will hire you for your services. Usually it's spamming services. I'm affiliated with a um, a space flight service that does a daily scheduled run it's like riding the bus and you need to go talk to the advertiser and um, get put on the list to go on the daily flight now what do we pay these advertisers well we pay them one ped per customer so say we get 20 customers during that daily flight that day, the advertiser gets 20 ped, plus their costs of going up and down to the planet. So there is that. Uh, now don't rush out and try to <laughs> get a job with us. 
it is um, you know we only need a couple of people we usually have those people but hey if you would like to get a job as an advertiser you have to be reliable you have to be likable <laughs> you can um, message Sakuba in the game and maybe he'll hook you up now there is another space flight service in the game there's a well there's a few space flight services in the game but I know that there is another space flight service in this game and I believe that they pay their advertisers the same amount of ped but I'm not sure so I'm not gonna go recommend names with them because I'm not affiliated with them and I don't want to be talking out my ass <laughs> any more than usual other ways that you can make money without depositing in this game is you can go find the oil rigs on Calypso. There is a newbie oil rig and then there's a more advanced oil rig. Uh, and you can stand in line and pick up oil. The only problem with that is, is that it's PvP zone. And there are going to be players at this area with gear, with guns, and they're going to shoot you because they want the oil. They think they deserve the oil because they have the skills and the gear. Now sometimes, I mean, I haven't been out to the oil rig, I'm not going to lie again. I haven't been out there in a long time, so I don't know, you know, um, how generous it is anymore. I don't know if there are people that go there and kind of help the newer players by protecting them. Um, that's information that you'd have to find out on your own. But there are oil rigs on Calypso. There's one on the planet Arcadia. And then there is a beer garden on Rocktropia. And I believe that one isn't very highly um, manned. So you could go there and try to get some beer kegs. My friend Mikhail, I believe, did a video as well on how to make money in Entropia, and I will link her video so that you guys can um, get ideas from her as well. Now, those are the free ways that I know of to make money in this game. Now, if you have some money to invest, there are other ways to make money in this game. The obvious one that comes to mind is trading, buy low, sell higher, know the market trends, know what's coming up, know that if there is a certain event uh, that happens yearly uh, with certain mobs and those mobs um, loot a buttload <laughs> of, of, of an item and that's going to drive that price down. Well, that's your time to get that item because then, you know, three months, six months later after that event is over, those items dry up and you're going to see the market, the markup prices go up and that's when you want to sell. Or you can, you know, sell oils, uh, sell wools, there's, there's little things, little common things like, you know, you buy a little bit lower, ores and matters, and you sell them. Some people I know buy cheaper on Planet X and then go to Planet Y and sell it there for a little bit more expensive. So there is that. Now, if you want to go even a step further with your pet, you can invest in Calypso land deeds or Arcadia underground deeds. They're the two at the timing of this recording of this video are the only land deeds that are available to buy. Um, and you pay a certain price for these um, deeds. Calypso land deeds are, I think, 1,800, 1,900 ped a piece now. When they first came out, they were 1,000 ped. So over time, the markup on them has risen substantially. And what you get for owning one of these deeds or several of these deeds is you get weekly residuals from the profit that uh, the planet Calypso has. So you can make, you know, three ped a week off of one CLD, you know, five ped, ten ped, depending on the time of year, depending on what's going on. 
when there are heavy events going on on Calypso, that's when you'll see your your revenues rise. And so a lot of people um, they buy the they buy the CLDs at a low as low as they can get, and they wait until something happens, and the prices are a little bit higher, and they sell that way. AUDs are almost the same way. You're getting the revenue share. Oh, I went AFK on you. You're getting the revenue share on the underground, the underground only in on Arcadia, and that doesn't include the instances that you can find down there, like the dungeons, the vaults. If you go and hunt in those vaults, that doesn't go towards your AUDs. So if somebody goes down there mining or hunting and they have some Hoffs or an ATH, you'll get daily uh, revenue. One AUD started off about 50 ped a piece, base price. Now they're up to about 57, 58 ped right now. And um, you usually get paid daily, so it's in pecs. So if you have one AUD, it's going to take a long time for you to build up your your profit with AUDs in my opinion my opinion only you need to have several hundred to see a good you know touching every day what else can you do to make money in entropia what I like to do is I like to make all my hunting count I like to when I'm hunting I like to go um, do the event mobs. There is an organization on Entropia called Big Industries and they own a lot of different land areas and they have a lot of uh, land area partners now that have partnered up with them. And what they do is if you are on their land areas or their partners land areas and you global or you hop, you get two points for those globals or those hoffs. And you're like, two points, well, what, what will that do? Well, if you go to your Entropia Life account, and if you don't have one, you can get one. It's, it's free to join. And you click on site plugins, and then you get your Big Industries event code. And right now, I have 1,700 and 18 points. So you're like, ooh, that's a lot of points, Raven. What are you going to get with that? Well, what you can get is... Where are the rewards here? Right now, for 1,700 points, I've basically earned 500 ped if I were to cash it in. That's a lot of ped for, you know, hunting. But I'm saving up for the 10,000 points, which will get me either a thousand, or sorry, 10,000 ped, which is a thousand dollars US, a thousand dollar gift card, or they'll give me a voucher to get me a free Alienware laptop up to a thousand dollars. So to me, it's not worth it to cash it in at these lower point values. I know some people that do, and you know, that's cool. But that is a way to make your hunting dollars stretch further. Um, let's see, what other ways? Owning shops, that's again, another investment opportunity. I currently own two shops, and I love, 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 love being a shop owner. Now, um, it takes a lot of head to be tied up but you know if you're willing to stick it out you you can see good profits so those are some of the ways that you can make ped in entropia both without an investment some with it and if you guys are seasoned entropia players that have been uh, playing and you have ways that you'd like to share that you could make money in Entropia, by all means. I am not claiming to have given you the whole list here. It's just something to go on. All right, boys and girls, that's my advice for how to make PED in Entropia. But if you don't want to follow my advice, 
it, it, there is one other sure way to make head in Entropia. <laughs> that's just find yourself an uber sugar daddy that's willing to throw money at your feet and worship the ground you walk on. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> Until the next video, I hope if you guys are going to be bad, <laughs> be good at it. Mwah. Bye!